Ellen, thanks for joining me out here. We've actually taken you out to show you a beautiful avocado grove. I'm here with Bob Collier. He knows so much about avocados from the inside out, cultural practices, farming, and then where the rubber really hits the road when it gets to you and me. You know what we're gonna get in store, which is great. That's right. Talk to us about this year's season. How does it look for us folks that love avocados? The actual supply situation is a little bit off this year. But most farming is off this year, so it's no surprise to any of us because our weather across the country has been crazy. Right, yeah. right. It got a little bit colder when the fruit set back in April, May. We still will have plenty of supplies. There'll be avocados in every grocery store that wants to carry avocados for sure. No doubt. The forecast for avocados starts way back when. I mean, we can be in September, October, but you have to forecast what's coming off the trees way back in what, April? Yes. Right. That piece of fruit started a year ago. By the way, there's tons of blooms on the tree. Oh, there's plenty, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's crazy. And to actually become an avocado, it's like 1% of the million blooms that are on the tree. Right. And I liken it to all of the baseball teams that are out there, the farm teams, only 1% make it sure. to the major leagues. Sure. So here is our major league ball player That's right it. here. We love it. <laughs> they should eat them too, right? Yeah. Tell me about the yield on the trees. Do you get a big yield? Every year is just a little bit different. It depends on the weather. It really does. People love avocados. The demand is growing and growing, it's isn't it? growing nationwide, certainly. That is amazing, especially on Super Bowl Sunday. There's something like 53.5 million pounds. Oh, it's crazy. Pounds. I mean, that's probably what your biggest season is, Super Bowl? Yeah, Super Bowl followed by Cinco de Mayo right. is, is another good one. That's event, but the year-round increase has been great. I can liken that to the fact that people are realizing how good they are for you to yeah, eat, really. very healthy. Tell us one thing that we may not know about avocados. Now, I know it's a fruit. Not a vegetable. Right, and most people think it's a vegetable, Most right? people do think it's a vegetable. Some people would even say it's a berry. Some do. The seed is on the inside, not on the outside. So that's the way to figure it out. Mm -hmm. All right, and they call that a droop, actually. So yep. that, there you go. There you go. What's really fun, I think, for the folks out there to look at is that we're actually standing in front of this. It's an amazing grove. It's beautiful. Rarely do we get to show you watering right. practices. Right. And this is really cool. It's it's not really a sprinkler. What is it, actually? It's a micro emission sprinkler. It's very water conservation oriented. Do they sure. need trees? They do use a lot of water. They're yes, thirsty they do. Fans. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And they grow in all kinds of terrain, uphill, downhill, uh -huh. everywhere. Yep, flat ground, hills, the works. So, so as growers, you guys are really not only monitoring how they bloom, the water, how they're faring all year long. Right. It's a big job for a delicious fruit. True. All right, well, let's go cook up with these beautiful fruit. Let's fruits. do it. All right, thanks, Bob. Uh-huh.